Hey guys, this is Matt for Creative. Today we're taking a look at the Lomography Lomo Instant Wide. This one here comes in black. It is a big camera. If you know anything, I love the Instax wide format the most out of any kind of instant film. I think that Fujifilm, um, Instax film, they do the best in terms of quality and contrast and everything. And this is the first time I've actually tried a Instax wide camera that was not made by Fujifilm. I have the Instax 300 and I like it, but it does have issues where you have to put this weird adapter to get selfies. In this case, you don't have to do that because if you see the dial here, you can just go from infinity all the way to taking selfies. And I have three pictures that I took here as a representation, but just look at the camera in itself. It is a nice, nice big uh, viewfinder, if you can look at me. No, at least you can see it's a big, big viewfinder and I think it does a really great job at like getting what you need to, uh, to get here. Have a nice selfie mirror, or this is kind of like reflective material. Sometimes you can see yourself in this thing too. One of the coolest things is, you see this has a lens cap? This lens cap, actually, if you put batteries inside it, you can use this as an instant shutter or as a selfie timer. And that is insane because you can just set this camera down and you can use it. There is one nitpick that I have about this camera because of the way that it kind of seats itself. It's a little bit heavy on this side. And as I was setting this down, it kind of tilted forward just a little bit and kind of stops there. And unless it's just a, I, I really don't know. I, I've been having some trouble laying this down. And imagine if you're using this as a selfie camera and trying to position this right here and it just kind of tilts down, it's always gonna be something that kind of annoys me. And always, because I don't always use the tripod, in fact, I probably never really use it, it just is something that just not is not gonna work out. But I was trying to figure this thing out because for me, I don't like really looking at manuals too much, but we have all stuff on the back. This is turning the camera on. This is in bulb mode. These are um, the exposure compensators, uh, plus one, minus one. Um, I did not really look and see what the MX button is, but this is flash on or off or on. You have it here. And then of course you have, this is how you'd take film out. I have film inside here right now, so I'm not gonna do it, but you'd pull this out. This is here. And I believe you can see, yes, there is film inside there. And where is the, okay, where's the, okay, I've, I always forget. It goes from one to four, so that means I've taken four shots. I am on the fourth shot right now. Yes, that's right, because I've taken three images. All right, so I really, really like this. Um, there is an accessory that it has that I don't have with me right now. I think it's kind of a, over there. But it's something that you can actually put um, different color filters over the flash. So if you want to cast a different light, you can do that. It kind of adds the artistic value. But for me, this is really going to be about the distinct and like rep, uh, rep, replicate. Oh my God, I can't even, I can't even think of words right now. It's something where you can use this over and over and expect the exact same results. You can replicate things easily. Um, with Polaroid cameras, I know that it is kind of very, at least in my eyes, temperamental and artsy. This should always be the same, or at least the cameras that I've used. So the first picture that I took with this camera is the selfie. So I, it kind of, it's not as crisp. Like, I, it is very, very crisp. And I turn this all the way to selfie mode. Don't need an adapter or anything. You can see the background is blurry. It's a little bit dark back here, but... You can see me, I think I am exposed properly and I, I like this. The second one here, I really, really love this image. So I took this image at dusk and it looks beautiful. Just look, you can see the dusk, you can see the color, you can see the people that, because I used flash on this. Um, this is on the streets of Lower East Side. It is beautiful. I love this image so much. It's like very, I know that there's a lot of information kind of lost here, unfortunately, but you get so much out of this here, here where the flash like caught and all the lights and especially the sky. I think the sky really sells it. 
The last image that I have here is just kind of randomly, I took a picture of my cat. And with this, I did not use the viewfinder, so I just kind of shot what I thought. And I'm still kind of learning. I did this on selfie mode. So you can see my cat is black, he's here. Let's see, did he get in focus? Yeah, he did kind of get into focus here, and you can see the background is blurred, everything's a mess back there, but he did get in the focus. I think that did a really good job of just kind of working. I think out of all of these pictures, this sells it. And look, this kind of color kind of matches the color that we have here. That sells it, it is a beautiful looking image that I love this so, so much. So again, this is the Lomo Instant by Lomography, the wide camera. They also have a mini, which we'll be covering here soon too. Um, oh, if anything, okay, camera's off, right? Here's the trigger. It's cool. It's a clicky little button. It's not a switch. It is literally just a button here. I think it's good. I have yet to try the cap because I do need to get a kind of like a watch battery to put inside here. But I like that, of course, this comes with a cap. Um, I need to put this also in here eventually. But I like that it comes with a cap. I think that works out really well, and I cannot wait to continue using this. Now, the only issues that I have, and this is just for the form factor, it'll never be able to change, but these cameras are big. This is the size of the picture. For uh, comparison, we have a Polaroid. This is the now generation two. Of course, this is gonna be deeper here, but you just have to understand how big this camera is. Um, one thing that I really think they should have included, I know I griped about this with the Polaroid generation two, but with the original Polaroids, they, give you, they gave you neck straps. This has, um, positions here for, oh my, wow, I'm really losing it. This has little positions here for a neck strap. It doesn't come with a neck strap. You need to include a neck strap. I, you have to include some sort of strap. If anything, include like a little wristlet here, but that would be also, I think that would be a little bit like not enough for something this size. You need to include something. Um, I know that whenever I saw the original Polaroids and they came with a neck strap, I was like, this is such a cheap neck strap. I wish the neck strap was better. I'm never gonna use the neck strap, but something, a camera this size requires a neck strap. Um, what I do with my professional cameras, and these are like digital cameras, imagine, okay, here's something this big. Um, I use a spider clip. I put something in here and it fits in a holster and this kind of fits perfectly by my side. That is not something that I can do with this kind of camera. It needs to be, it really does need to be hanging like by, you know, kind of right here as like a pendant or like on my side. You need to include that because I can always get that by myself, but I don't have it. So it's not really helping me out right now. But guys, that's been the Lomography Lomo Instant Wide Camera. This one comes in a nice black finish and I've loved using it so far, and I really want to continue using it. Um, do I have the, oh, just as a final comparison, please don't, please don't let everything fall. Um, as a final comparison, we have the Instax 300 camera, which the styling is kind of, it, like this camera is basically discontinued at this point, meaning I hope they start to release something, but. Oh, one thing, this has a grip. That's interesting. I totally forgot that this does have a grip, so it's something to hold. This camera here does not have a grip. You can grip it like this, but there's nothing to kind of catch your fingers. Could be something that's just a little bit of an oversight. But we have the two cameras here. This one, um, when you turn it on, it will just kind of open up here, but these are the two cameras side by side. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Oh yeah, put everything in the comments section below. Don't forget I'm on Instagram at m8b9. You can email me at matt8b9 at gmail.com. That's it, so sorry I forgot. I'll see you next time.